Hi everyone. Gosh, it's been forever since I've made a video. The holidays always do this to me. It's uh, like Crazyville for me in holidays. <laughs> but I decided to stop wrapping gifts and everything else and just play for a few minutes today. And um, I wanted to share this playtime with you guys because this is going to be part of the... Um, uh, address book that I'm altering and you guys uh, that have been watching this series so far know that I've been you know working on getting some of these pages paint painted up using up paint and then uh, and then I came back in um, at another time and did some some stenciling and um, now I'm gonna do a little bit of stamping and maybe adding some um, some images to some of these pages that I think the paint and the stenciling and stuff have gone far enough on. Just because I want to go ahead and do something different. I'm not saying that some of these won't get more on them, but um, it's just going to be a you know an ongoing project, and whatever I see it might need, I'll add it. You know, as I come to that particular page. Um, for today, I've already pulled out a couple of pages that I'm gonna work on, and. Um, <clears throat> one of them is one that I just um, threw some color on the other day, and this is some of that um, uh, India ink that uh, Dr. P. H. P. H. Martin's uh, in India ink, and I had some excess, and so I uh, was actually coloring a ribbon, and um, I decided to tap off the ribbon onto the paper instead of wasting all that color. I just decided to have a, a piece of my address book paper underneath it. But you can see how it, it leaves a really cool um, a dotted kind of design on there. And um, I thought that was just kind of interesting. But I wanted to add a little bit more to this, um, this page. And I think I'm going to start with uh, putting a little bit of stenciling on. I've got a couple of colors. Actually, what I did was I found some uh, flowers that I received in a swap a long time ago. And I thought I would, you know, place them on this page and, um, and let that, you know, uh, be the focal point of my page. But before I did that, I just wanted to add a little tiny bit more background. So I thought I would add a... Uh, a little bit of uh, stenciling and uh, just picked out a couple of colors and um, <clears throat> kind of from those flowers that I thought I might add in the background not real heavily but you know just a little here and there and um, see how that looks all right You can't see that too well, but that's good. I don't want it to be overpowering. Lighter is better, I think, because I want the flowers, you know, to stand out, be the focal, focal area. Yeah, I think that's going to be okay. Just adds a little bit more to that. Okay, now I'm going to let that dry. And I'm going to work on a different page while this is drying up. All right. So we'll move those over. Um, I have a uh, page here that... I'm going to use for this image um, that I have matted. This, I'm uh, not matted, but uh, glued. This is a napkin image from um, my friend Linda. She uh, had included this in a little Happy Mail package for me uh, at one point, and I love this uh, image on this napkin. So I went ahead and glued it to just a regular sheet of 
printer paper so that it would you know have some substance and also so it would put a solid white background on it so I could have the vibrancy of the colors in the napkin. So I'm gonna just attach that to this page. I thought it looked pretty cool on this page. And then I found uh, words that I had, I've got a bunch of words cut out of magazines already and I found this one in my pile in my stash and it says, guess who's coming to play? So I thought that was kind of cute. So I'm gonna put this down and um, maybe doodle on it just a little bit and we'll have a page finished. And I'm going to use a glue stick for the magazine page because it's so thin. I don't want it getting real wet with the glue. I'm going to let that dry a little bit before I do any more to it. I really like uh, this messy page. You can see I've just slapped paint on it, added a little stenciling here and there, and there's even some excess glitter right there, or glitter glue that I added right in here. And I don't think there's any more just right here at the bottom. I also have some glue, uh, glue, some gold um, stamping done on there. So uh, I think it's just a real big mess. But I like it. So I decided I wanted to use a quote that says, we are perfect in our imperfections. So I'm going to add that. And I think I'm going to write out the word perfect um, in a bigger, you know, in a, as a bigger word. So, you know, have this here and then just write out the word perfect right there. All right, so I think that's what I'm gonna do there. So I've got a marker over here. This is just a permanent marker from the dollar store. And I'm gonna just write out the word uh, perfect. the words. I'm gonna let that one dry before I do any more on it. And let's see, let's come back to the red one. Seems to be dry. I'm gonna add a little bit of script with this stamp here. I 
pink border on this one too. Now let's see what it looks like with the flowers. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's really nice. I think the uh, the stenciling added a lot to the to the page. Just a little bit in the background looks good. Okay. And I'm also going to um, stamp some words here. <clears throat> I've got these, um, these little letter stamps are from TPC Studio called Dot Alphas. Yep, Al or back here it says Alpha Dot, so on here it says Dot Alpha, so <laughs> anyway. I like these little letters. And I'm just going to do live, laugh, love. Oops, on my uh, page. To get these straightened up after I get them on here. <laughs> to glue these down and so I use the tacky glue again to be careful not to cover up the holes on my page. That looks good. Here we go. That's cute. I love this page. <laughs> I'm going to trim this one off. Okay. I may come back and doodle some some additional on there. And let's see on this one.
just a little bit of doodling. On the page and let's see I think I'm going to add some circles white circles inside these black ones I'll decide if it needs something else later let this dry and let's bring this one back in See if we can outline our words here. thinking I might put a little white outline on the inside edge of the image. It's pretty bumpy. It is a napkin. <laughs> it pop a little bit more okay all right so we're going to leave that one for now let it dry and um, This one I like um, a lot, and I'm going to put the letters here that these are some letters that I had stamped out, and I just threw them in my uh, scrap box, and so this is a good time to uh, use them up. So I'm going to go ahead and attach those. I'm not sure exactly where I want to put them, though. Maybe in the middle. I'm not really going to do a whole lot more to this page. It's got a lot going on. <laughs> but maybe in the middle. That's kind of cute. Alright, I'm going to do that. This, this book I'm not putting a lot of thought into. I'm not... Um, it's not perfect. It's just a throw-together book just for fun. And so I'm going to enjoy it and not stress over it and be you know trying to think of all the best ways to do all the things I just want to play and have fun because I've got enough stress going on <laughs> and, you know I always try hard not to stress at Christmas time but it's kind of hard not to when there's so many things to do and to get done so since there is a little bit of stress involved there I don't want stress involved in my art and I try not to do that anyway. It's so much more fun to just play when I'm creating, you know. Something we could all practice a little bit more is just um, playing and just having fun instead of stressing. So that's exactly what I am doing right now. I'm really enjoying this. It's been so long since I've made a video. Or even, I mean, I've, I've done some creating. I've been... You know, I've been making some things, but I haven't been filming anything or making a video. So I'm enjoying being able to share this with you guys. All right, I'm going to let that one dry. So I'm going to add just um, another line in my border. It's a little too thin, so I'm going to just um, add another one. Just to kind of thicken it up, not thicken up one line, but just to make the border itself a little bit bigger.
Okay, I like that a lot better. And I'm gonna <clears throat> draw maybe a box around the around the word perfect. that dry. Uh, let's see, I want to outline uh, these letters. These pages have really been a lot of fun especially since the majority of, of the paint is just uh, using up excess paint. I love that. Okay, so that's looking nice. Let's see. Um, just let that dry for a little bit. And uh, this one, I want to add some orange in the, um, in the words here, so I'm just going to Draw another little um, little border on the inside there, just to bring the orange down into this part of the page. That makes that makes a lot of difference. Okay, and I grabbed another page. Um, this is the one that I was uh, stamping with a sponge and um, just made a little fall scene. So um, I have some letters that I had cut out with a Cricut or something a long time ago. So I'm using up some more of my old stuff's been sitting around. So I'm gonna put the uh, put the word fall here at the bottom just because I have these letters already cut out and why not use them, right? And uh, once I get those glued on, then I'll outline those. And I don't know how much glue is left in this little pen here, but I'm gonna try to use this. This is a two-way, a zig two-way a glue pen and it um, it's blue when it's wet and then it turns clear when it's dry and when it's dry it turns into a um, a temporary type adhesive so that's why they call it a two-way a two-way glue but I like being able to use the tip of it and um, You know, for some for skinny stuff like these letters are, it's almost empty. But there's enough in here to, uh, I think, get these letters on. Okay. I think that just looks really cute on that page. You know, I had no idea what I was going to do with this page, but I think that's as cute as it can be. Especially once I outline the letters and maybe put a border on here. I think it'll look awesome. 
fact, I want to get a brown, um, a brown marker. These are the Faber-Castell pit pens, and I'm going to go ahead and um, just make a little border here on this page, just to kind of frame it out a little bit. Okay, cute little border. Okay. And then like I said, I'll come back and outline these after that glue gets dry. But I think that's very cute. Very cute little page. Okay. And on this one, I went ahead and started the outlining of the letters in white. You can see the difference between how it looked originally, which is here and how it looks with the white outline. I really like that. And I also outlined the flowers. Uh, these two, I outlined the flowers with black. So they kind of um, pop up off the page just a little bit more. I did the inside of this one. I'm, I still need to do the outside edge and the word love here. And I'm using a Posca, a white Posca pen to do the letters. So get that done real quick. ahead and finish the outline here. This is a Micron uh, pen. I believe it's a 0.25. Yes, 0.25 millimeters. I'm going to put a little bit more of that uh, of that script, a little bit of an empty space here, and a little bit, I, I got a little bit there, but you can't see it very well, so I'm going to just put a little bit more of this here and there, like that, and there, maybe here. Okay, good enough. I like that page. I'm enjoying finishing these up. This is really fun. <laughs> so that was really cute. I don't remember who sent me the flowers in the swap, but if you're watching, thank you so much. You'll probably recognize your own flowers. <laughs> They're beautiful. So thank you very much for those. Okay. So that one's uh, pretty much done. I'm going to go ahead and add this, uh, or do this page here. I've had this cow cut out for a while. I tried to use it on a couple of different pages. <laughs> it never worked. But I think it's going to work on this smaller page. I like that a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and put the cow on here. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of the page um, at all. Maybe I should... Um, put some texture back there with some black too just to let me get a stamp to use for that okay let's use this one this is just a little like a 
like a grid. So we'll just put a little bit of that here and there. Okay. Good enough. And I don't know what else is going to go on this page. Like I said, I just don't have a clue, but I do want to add this cow. <laughs> So I got him glued up and just adding him to the edge of the page right here. And there we go. <laughs> He's just too cute to not put on a page. Too cute. So good, I'll let that be drying. And let's see, this is probably good and dry, or dry enough. Now, do I want to outline it in dark or in white? Like in black or in white? Hmm. Maybe I'll outline it in black and um, I might put white dots on the letters or something like that. So let's just see how that looks. I don't know if that's too light. Maybe it should be a heavier. Hmm. Well, I can always make it heavier. I'll go ahead and do it with this one and see how I like the whole thing. And if it needs to be heavier, I can always use a different pen and make it heavier. I'm just doing a scribbly doodle around the edge. It's not holding the pen very tightly, but just kind of letting it waver all over. <laughs> Do some dots. I like the dots a lot. I mean, I like all of it, but I like how it brightens it up. <laughs> I love it. That looks so fun. I'm going to add a little bit of white to this, um, to the doodles on the border, just to brighten it up around the page. I 
that adds a lot too. Helps to helps to brighten it up. Awesome. I love 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 this one. <laughs> Yay. Okay, that one's fun. I love that. So we got two done. And this one is I think this one's probably done. I think I want to go um, again on the inside with the white. It's a little bit um well, it's not quite enough, so I'm just doing a a wiggly sort of um addition to the white that's already there. Okay, that adds a little bit more. I kind of think I might want to add a little bit of blue in there because of the um, <clears throat> blue that's in the picture. This is another Micron uh, pen. It's not real dark, but it's... Um, it's bringing some color down here to this part of the uh, page. It's hard to, hard to see it on camera, but it's there. Okay, that's good. So that one's fun too. And um, let's see what else do we have? We had this one. Um, I'll, uh, I don't know. I kind of feel like it needs a little bit more of the orange in here, maybe from these uh, painted areas. So I'm going to do a little bit of orange in here. Yeah, that helps that a lot. <clears throat> Need to close up my glue stick. I think this needs to be a little bit brighter. Okay, I'm going to let that dry a second. I'm not sure what else I want to do on this guy. Um, I think maybe some yellow on there. Maybe green. I do have a green color that might work. Yellow might be a little bit too light, so I'm going to go with the green, I think. That's pretty. some green there and um, I think it needs a border but um, I don't want all the borders to be exactly the same so I have to think about that maybe I'll um, maybe I'll stamp a border on or something later I've got some I've got some stamps like that that I can use so maybe I'll do that 
this one. Um, for my Sharpie, here we go. I think I'll outline the, the uh, well, let's see if I can make the pen right first. <laughs> Let's see if I can outline the, uh, the white border box here. color those in. Okay, I um, I did some white uh, loops inside these little scallops, so I'm finishing that up here. Like that. And I think I'm going to take this orange Posca pen and um, let's see. Maybe just put some little... Um, Swirl type marks just to help incorporate the orange. Make it all cohesive. kind of helps to carry the orange all over the page. So I like that. Okay, so I'm going to let this one dry. And I'm going to bring this one back. And I've got this little stamper um, rolling uh, stamper thing. And I don't have the handle for it, <clears throat> but I do have the, uh, the stamper itself. And... I think there's enough ink in it. I'm practicing <laughs> testing it over here on the side. It doesn't have a lot, but I think it's. I hope it has enough in it that it'll show up a little bit when I uh, when I roll it roll it through here. Yeah, it's okay. Of course, I didn't roll it straight, <laughs> but these aren't perfect, so I don't mind. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's good. It gives it a little something. You can see it here on the edge. Yeah, I like that a lot. All right, now that one's going to dry too. And I uh, think we're pretty much going to call this um, call this one done called the video done, I mean. Um, you know, I may add add to these things along and along, I just don't know, but I'm gonna lay out the ones that uh, worked on today and, and uh, I don't know, like I said, what I'm gonna do with this cute little cow, but we'll figure out something. <laughs> this 
switch these around. There we go. So those are fun, fun ones that we did today. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Use up your excess paint and then just put stenciling and stamps and and just images from magazines and stuff like that on them. So I hope that you have fun playing like I have today. And um, we'll see you soon for the next one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.